Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. As of version 7.7.0, a new feature has been added into the game. It is the possibility to export uh, any amount of units to a CSV file and uh, also importing a CSV file in order to either add new units or uh, modify existing unit stats. So I'm going to show you how this works. Um, so basically what we are most I think what we're going to do first is create a new mod. It's going to be a mod called uh, 1950 and year mod. Uh, so we hit create. So we have our new uh, mod here. So we're good. We're just going to select it and hit apply changes. All right. So now the game has registered it and it will be listed in, uh, in here. So we're going to select it. So this way, any changes we make are saved directly into this mod. All right, so uh, the way this works, I'm just going to go over the export feature first. So for example, we could go with uh, France. And this lists us here. It, it acts as a filter, you know. And so it lists us all of the French units here. So if we hit the export CSV button, it does export the entire list of units that are uh, shown here, so 109 of them, into a CSV file. So if we open it, we can see that all of the French units are here. They are sorted by um, well, the first letter, so by, the, by their name. Um, yep, so yep, you have a lot of, basically almost everything that's available in uh, in the editor here, well, these fields I didn't include any of the toggles, uh, but we'll we'll get back to this in a, in a, in a moment. Uh, but basically, anything that's here um, is going to be found here, so we can you just edit it. So basically, how this works, how you can use this. So we've exported into a CSV file. So um, there are two, well, I'm going to show you with a spreadsheet. So I have a Google spreadsheet open here. So what we're going to do is a file import. We're going to go to upload. We're going to drag and drop it. We are going to do a replace current sheet. Uh, we're not going to convert anything and separator type. We're going to go into comma because CSV, uh, the file file type uh, stands for comma separated values so you just select comma and you just do you do uh, import data here and boom you have all of the you have the basically the file here we've imported into here so we have all the french units so uh, what you can do now is basically uh, create i mean you can use formulas if you want if you want to have the soft damage uh, to be equal to uh, like all of these values. You can just do it and uh, okay. Well, it okay. It seems not to work on <laughs> Google spreadsheet. Sorry about that. But um, it, well, it works in in my other software. It's probably because it doesn't think these are numbers. It thinks that they're le well, letters, characters, but anyway, it supports formulas. That's the point. Because if I could just open this, as I said in my native native Excel file, I can just do this equal, and then take all of this and do boom, and then you have, you know, it, it does the thing. I'm not sure why uh, Google spreadsheet doesn't work, but anyway. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is do edit, find and replace. We're going to do uh, 1946 because all of the units in the game have an end use year of 19, uh, 1946. And we're going to replace it with 1950. We're going to match case, match entire cell content, and uh, only this sheet. And then replace all. We have 1950 now everywhere. So that's good. Now we can go to file. Uh, download CSV comma separated values. Boom, downloaded. Very good. Now uh, we can do import 
we can go to, I don't have, okay, I'm going to just drag and drop it on my desktop. Uh, we can, yep, can forget about this. We can just take the entire sheet and import desktop entire sheet. We just import it. And just to show you that it's going to work. So you see the, uh, here, 1946 and availability year. As soon as we're going to import it, it's going to change to 1950. And now for any unit, we have an end availability year of 1950. But this is only for the French unit because obviously the sheet that we have exported only contains French units. So that's how you can batch edit uh, a bunch of units at the like at very, very fast pace, basically. So you can hit save. Um, and so, yeah, you can just basically export if you wanted to export all of the units at the, like at the same time, you could have all the 1,399 units exported uh, right away. And so here you would have all of the units in the game uh, with all of their stats and everything. Uh, and then you can just perform batch edits on these. Um, so for example, if you wanted to have uh, make a mod that would basically change the range of all units, you could do a uh, search for, uh, or you could just manually go over them. I don't know. Well, anyway, it's just, you know, like the possibilities are not endless, but still. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to show you uh, would be that uh, the order of uh, these, so I can just, it doesn't matter. Um, the, the game is going to look for these, is going to look for these and match them with the unit's properties. Uh, so these headers should never, ever, ever change. Do not edit them. Uh, do not uh, move them like uh, uh, like this. Don't do that. Keep it out of the top. Uh, but what you can do is just move the rows around. That will not have any impact. Um, if you are afraid of modifying things that you don't want to modify, uh, you can just select all of these. Uh, so uh, for example, for our mod, we don't really want to edit anything else that the end use here, right? So we could just select all of the rows, the columns, sorry, the columns. We take all the columns. Uh, we delete the selected columns. Uh, can we... No, it's not going to work. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, delete uh, selected columns. Okay. So what's uh, really necessary, though, is the name of the unit and its country. That's how the game is going to basically find the unit. So without these name and country, you cannot do anything. So you, know, you need these two, and then you can have any amount of, um, you know, uh, properties. So um, I'm going to probably write in the description uh, the full list of properties. Uh, I'm going to just show you quickly here. And my unit class, basically you have, uh, well, these cannot really be edited, but you have, uh, you know, like you have like a bunch of properties, uh, including uh, Booleans. Booleans are true false values. Uh, Booleans are going to be, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to write some shit here. It's just real laggy because all of the, yeah, okay, now we'll be fine. So Booleans are all the true falses here. So for example, uh, obviously I'm going to give you this um, in the description or I'm, I'll make some file explaining all of this. Uh, can we add one column to the right? Thank you. So we could have is submarine. That would uh, obviously be for the is submarine uh, thing property here, and we could have true. I guess true would fall. Yeah, I guess true would work. Uh, can we just expand it to? Yeah, very good. Okay, so now uh, it's going to modify only the end use year of the unit, and we could have something like nineteen ninety nine just to. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, now we have a number. Okay, so we have a Boolean here, true. Um, 1999 for the end use year. And um, 
one thing I could maybe show you right away would be how we could create a new unit this way. So we would do this and we would make like my new unit and uh, we're going to give it a 2000, whoops, 2000 year and we're not going to make it a submarine. So now the game, when it's going to import this CSV sheet file, um, is going to loop through all the units and is going to try and see if it can find them in the game. So obviously all of these are in the game. It works for modded units as well. But this one here, my new unit, uh, France, does not exist. So it's basically just going to add it into the mod, um, basically. So file, uh, download, CSV. Uh, where is the... We're just going to go back to just France and delete this. Uh, submar submarine, where's the submarine thing? Submarine, here you go. Submarine, okay, so import. Uh, yep, I need to place it on my desktop again. Entitle sheet, yes, replace. Desktop, entitle sheet. And so uh, what we're gonna see is the submarine uh, mechanics should be toggled on all units. Yep, submarine mechanics toggled. And now we have end availability day, uh, day uh, year, sorry, 1999. And we should also have our, how did we call it? A new unit or something? Oh my God, my new unit. So now we should have a my new unit. So we have my new unit, end availability year 2000. And you can see that nothing has been changed except um, the, the end year. And it is not a submarine as we have uh, written here, fault, basically. So uh, that's basically how it works. So you could, uh, you can now basically create uh, and maintain your mods, uh, units, databases inside a spreadsheet, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, Apple or Google or Excel or whatever you want. Uh, and then you could also um, have it like this. Well, yeah, so you could give this a color uh, cell color, uh, could give it a color, uh, it will, it's fine. Uh, and then you could, you could, you could just like have all of these be, uh, is this going to be the text? Not even texts. All right. Color. Yeah. Red. So, you know, you could just personalize to have it easier to work with. Um, and then you can just save it. You can uh, edit it, work on this, on this sheet, and then just, again, export CSV, and then it, it will just uh, export as a CSV without all of the uh, units. No, this is the original, and see, even though, the, so this is the original um, that I use inside the app, and once it's exported, you have this, raw values uh, sheet basically so uh yes that's that's about it for this new uh feature so feel free to use this uh however you'd like uh i think it will make mother's life way easier and uh my life as well much much easier uh we can just save and you can see that if we go to mods uh, we disable this, we apply changes, we go back to the unit editor, uh, we do this, and it's back to normal. See, we have disabled our mod, and now it's back to 1946, and not all units are uh, submarines. So, yeah, that's uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty powerful tool, uh, easy to work with, and uh, yeah, basically that's it. So, thank you for watching. And um, have a great end of summer and uh, happy modding, guys.